Hello, so today I'm going to be going through how I get Paragon Armor under a CC3 character to use in Unreal Engine on the CC3 characters, so it's free outfits really. Don't forget to like and subscribe, apparently I'm supposed to say that. And uh, let's get started, this is just a blank third person project with Gideon in it, Paragon Gideon, and the CC3 auto setup plugin which I'll leave a link in the description for so we're just going to export Gideon and then we're going to take Gideon into Blender I'm going to try not to use any shortcuts because I am used to using shortcuts and I am used to using multiple monitors and um, so I am going to try not to forget Looks like I've imported these LODs, we don't need them, so I'm just going to straight off the bat, delete them. No point in them being there. Uh, we don't need a skeleton. And now I'm going to split the mesh, well, I separate the mesh by material. I'm going to delete the stuff that I'm not going to be using. And then I'm going to separate these up into usable parts that I want to use in Unreal Engine. You're quite welcome to split them any way that you feel like. Separate by selection. Just a couple of parts, all you do is just select them. And then join them back onto the part that you want to join them back onto. I just hide them out of the way so you can see if you missed any parts. And then I'm going to connect this part to the chest. <coughs> now I'm going to rename them all. And while I rename them all, I'm going to merge them all by distance to make the way painting easier and to save the meshes from splitting when you're using them on an animated character. So you go to mesh, clean up and then merge by distance. If you right click it, you'll be able to add it to your quick favorites. And then that way you'll be able to just press Q and do merge by distance and that will save you some time. And then at the same time, I'm just going to rename them. That done, we're going to export them as OBG files. Don't forget to tick the 
selected only in the export options otherwise you'll get one giant mesh for each thing that you do because it will export all of the stuff in the scene rather than just the item that you want. Right, with the split up mesh exported out as OBGs, we're going to go into Carrot Creator. In Carrot Creator, we are going to start with a load neutral base. I've already done it. Uh, otherwise, your armor won't morph correctly later when you go to morph it. So we're just going to create an accessory. Um, just going to start with the head because I like to start at the top. And we're just going to move it into position. I'm going to also uh, get in the chest item just so I can line it up a little bit better. This button moves the origin point so that you can have it in a better position to line it up. Okay, once you're happy with the position on all of them, you're going to transfer the skin weight uh, for the head. I normally don't use hair, but just for the sake of speed, I'm going to. Once you've got it in, we need to check the pose when alter the pose so that we can see if the weight pattern's accurate to what we want. And it isn't. But sometimes there's little bits. It does a very good job of automating it, but there is sometimes little parts that you need to adjust. So we just go to skin weights. We're going to do it by selection for this part. We're not going to ignore the back faces. I'm just going to select somewhere in the middle. Expand the selection out. And we're going to put it probably on the neck twist one. I'm going to just go back because that's just a little bit too far out. Much better. Back to the pause. I like to use quite extreme movements, and then that way you get to see. Because in game, it's never going to get into this position really. Same process as before. Don't want it to go into that middle bit. I think we'll go to this neck again. Like 
This is literally a case of getting it how you want it to look. Um, I think actually we might be able to get rid of this one as well. I'm gonna check it. See what it looks like. Yeah. Once you're happy, you taste like candy. Did you buy me something? I can feel the on my heart and clear me. Did you taste like candy? Once you're happy with it, then we can just move on to the next part. And transfer skin mirrors. Yeah, dress is the obvious choice for the middle. You can try some pauses. It looks like it's done a far better job on the auto. In process, really. I'm not worried about the legs, I'm just looking to make sure that the mesh is lined up correctly with itself. And then rather than trying to get the mesh to match the legs, we're not. We use edit pose and I'm just going to move the legs to match the armor because it's far quicker, far easier. And I'm all about speed. Back to the legs. Same as we've all transferred skin weights, default for this. And for the boots. We're just going to go with it. <coughs> Shoes obviously. Now to fix all the pokes out. Can't remember if I've done it for the helmet. So you just go to conform, cut the collision. See the forks on the legs. Using the magic of calculated collision, we're just gonna as you can see it works very well. Now that we've done that, we're gonna try some uh, pauses out. See if there's any porcs on the meshes. There is a porcs over here. A few different ways you can do this. You can use conform again and increase the size and you calculate the collision to see if that'll do it. I'm not going to. I'm going to edit the mesh, use sculpt mode, and I'm just going to pull it out a little bit. Don't worry about that artifact, it's 
doesn't that doesn't actually affect on anything. Through, look for anything that doesn't look right, doesn't it change the way paint off all of the mesh, so it's all look good. I'd like to check this pose as well because it highlights the center part. You can see the way paint on that's quite bad. I'm not going to use that, I'll be using physics on this part, but I am going to alter it just so you know. You know, just go to selection and select it. Probably expand it a little bit, and then probably just put it straight on the pelvis, and then you won't get that stretching. Now, with that done, we are ready to. Uh, don't know why I've got the expression on. <laughs> We are ready to export this out to be used in Unreal. At this point though, I would actually uh, take it back to Blender to use it as a modular set. You can actually split it up with Character Creator, but I find it all clunky and not as good. I find it just way faster for me personally, just go back into Blender. But for now we're going to export it. FDX. Unreal for us. Custom. Going to use the... Unreal Engine's actual pose. Going to tell it to use first frame. Um, something else I should mention. I am going to do that. I'm going to be using it as a modular character. If I was going to be using it like this, I would use the delete hidden faces and I would hide the faces. So I'd use the hide body tool and I would just hide. everything that wasn't going to be visible and then that way you've got a much more performant mesh because it hasn't got all the unused faces in the back behind it so now we're back to Unreal get myself a new folder and then I have the CC Auto set up there and um, I'll leave a link in the description where to get it and it tells you how to set it up here's here's Q shader obviously just cause it is better they create its own skeleton use the first frame import morph targets Okay, now that we're back in Unreal Engine, we've got Gideon imported. I just need to add the materials onto the um, armor because obviously it didn't import them when it came in because I didn't export them out. So I'll just do that off screen using one of the other monitors just for speed. Now with that done, I'm going to retarget the animation blueprint across under our new skeleton just to make it work correctly. I'm just going to create myself a new folder. Like 
CC3 skeleton comes in already set up as humanoid, but we will need to do the Unreal one. It's already on. There we go. As I said before, I'm going to be using the physics on. I put the raw material in there. We'll be using physics on these parts, um, but I have put the raw material in there. There we go. So I'll be using physics on them bits that are hanging down. You can leave them like that or do them however you want. Um, I probably want to re-wave paint that. I wouldn't be happy with that. Obviously it needs this part. Even and out. And that's why you would just go back to character creator. Skin weights. Could try a few different things. I mean, you could try the smooth brush. Would probably work uh, for speed. Yeah, with that part, not under it, and then that would fix that. But I'm not worried about that at the moment. So to use it as a modular part, I would start again from in here. Import our CC3 character. I'm going to be using the uh, pipeline plugin, the Unreal to Blender to Unreal plugin from me by Epic. I'll leave a link in the description. So I'll move the whole thing to the rig, and then pick all of the meshes. Move them to mesh. Hide them. Hide the rig. We wouldn't want that. We don't need that. Join them up so that they one mesh. And then move that one out to mesh as well. Wanna hide everything? Sent on real. Using the magic of software. Then in the blender folder, you would have all of your parts and all of your materials to use on a modular character. Yeah. One other thing before I forget to show you. As you can see, all of the morphs work correctly. something more than extreme one other thing of note is you can save these for later use you don't want to do it every time you want to use one so just click on the item that you want go to your content folder custom hit plus and it will give you it and you just name it I'm not going to overwrite mine because there's just no point and then I would texture these in iClone and I would use the RGB mask from Out of Unreal. There's no point in remaking one when you've already got them there. I will probably make another video showing how to do that and then showing you how to take the facial expressions and everything out to Unreal as well to make it easier to use. And I also normally take out um, the 
some of the full body ones so you can have some you know I, I do like kind of like that and I take them in Unreal as well so you can have some variation on your characters when they spawn uh, but that's for another time have fun out there until next time bye